this trail mix here. You know, I just went over to Gasparilla in Tampa and I had a good time as usual. And that was like my day off of eating. That was like my cheat day. And boy, did I fucking cheat. I fucking was eating. What was I eating? I was eating uh, I ice cream, I chicken tenders, beer, bunch of stuff. I, I mean, I, I was just going to town. We went to this one spot before we ended the night. We went to this uh, spot at Central Ebor. It's called Asiatic. I wasn't talking because I loved the rice so fucking much. I was saying to myself, this is the best Asian Chinese rice I've ever had since I remember living up north. Like it was, it had like a sweet taste. It had like that, like that New York taste to it. I don't know what it was. And I was fucking eating and it was fucking great. So I said to myself, all right, I eat like a pig. And then obviously I drove back and I was saying, you know what? Tomorrow, the, the following day, I'm not going to eat nothing. And the whole day, I didn't eat anything. So for now, it's been a fasting period of, it was what? It was like, um, I want to say it was uh, 24, 24, 36 hours, 36 hour fasting I did. So this is kind of like my first meal. I had some eggs and uh, I had, you know, anyway, but, you know, sorry. I was just kind of in the middle of munching, but I wanted to put this out there for myself because I just love hearing myself talk. And it was pertaining to a post that I saw. And this post talked about what the expectation should be for men and women in dating when you fly out of the country with somebody. In particular, should there be an expectation of intimacy going on if you as a woman choose to go with a guy, let's say to out to Europe or to South America or to Canada, wherever it is, like, you know, he says, hey, babe, hey, I'd love to take you to go with me to Toronto and let's have a three day getaway there. Right. And it's very and before I give my opinion, it's very fascinating to hear some of the responses that you have from people on this topic. You have one person is I'm not going out of the country with anybody unless I'm sucking dick the whole trip. If not, I'm going to go by myself or with the girls. And this other guy says, it's not consent. A guy should not expect to have sex unless sex has already been talked about. At the same time, a girl going out of the country with a person they're not wanting to have sex with is crazy behavior. Here's another one. That's not how consent works at all. Just because you would have sex for a flight doesn't mean any other woman had to. Consent is not contractual. This person says, I disagree. I wouldn't go out of state, fuck out of the country with a man I didn't plan on sleeping with. Not going out of town to get to know someone better. That makes no sense. I came to get bent over the balcony. <laughs> okay, out of girl. That's not how consent works. This is another person. In my opinion, I don't know why it's so hard to be open and have a clear communication about what you expect or what you're trying to do or not do. Being grown doesn't mean you have to stop using communication skills. And then the last one here, my favorite one. I mean, it's more over here, but a real man will fly around the world without pressuring you to sleep with him. Well, you know, that's a very fascinating take from all spectrums. I mean, people talk about what consent means. You talk about, you know, expectations from both male and female on this kind of trip. And I would say I could relate to this because I, as I'm 45, going to be 46 and I'm in the dating scene and talk to women and they find out about my traveling and the things I like to do traveling. The first thing they do is they love to invite themselves. When am I going to go? Can I go? Can I be a part of that? Can I? I'll be on that trip. You know, it's all of a sudden they want to do things with you. And because they want the experience, I, that's kind of the thing. If you go online dating, if you go meet people in their profile, for women, 99% of the women, like women complain about fish pics here in Florida because a lot of guys just have pictures of holding their fish and and whatever the hobby they do. And for me, I just see women always saying they want to travel. They want to travel. 
They they want to fucking go everywhere. Now it's time to go because obviously I get it because they've been raising kids all this time and now they're out, finally out of the jailhouse of raising kids and then they want to go and travel. I get that, right? And obviously women are not comfortable going by themselves, which is the dilemma that you have in this topic. Should men and women not expect to engage in sexual activity if the man pays for the flight? I always say this, men pay for it anyways. That's why I have no problem with any guy paying an escort or paying somebody that's consenting because if I had a girlfriend and I'm going to Germany, guess who's paying for that fucking trip? Or at least 80% of it. Me. When I went to certain trips with my current fiance, with my ex-fiance, me. I paid for it. I paid for it all. Because that's what you do. I mean, in a relationship, you understand that more times than not, the man's making the more money. So, yeah, it's an expectation that it's not talked about, but it's understood. And men understand it. I mean, part of it, us, we like providing for our women and treating them. So that's not a problem. But when you get to know somebody, if I was dating somebody and... They were like, uh, yeah, can you go ahead? You know, and I'm saying I'm going to Germany or I'm going to Vegas or I'm going wherever I'm going. And they have a and they want a desire to jump on board. I personally tell them in the roundabout way, hey, listen, I mean, uh, you're going to have to, you know, do a lot more than you're currently doing for me to even consider you uh, being part of my itinerary. It's just that reality. For for and I understand for women that are that this is the problem with the the culture that I run into here, is that you have a financial expectation. So women in, in now at this day and age, they're more if you can't do nothing for me, if you can't pay my bills, if you can't do anything of the sort, taking any burden off of me, then you're not worth being in a relationship with. I'm like, okay, well, that's how you feel. That's how you feel. No problem. But guys. The, the problem with guys is that there's some guys that have the money and treat you, but because you're coming across that superficial desire that they're going to they're gonna objectify you for what you are because you're just basically an exclusive prostitute. Because if I'm, if I'm going out there and if you're dating me and you're only dating me for the expectation or the intentions of wanting to go travel with me, and for me to pay for all of your trips, you want to hang out with me, you like me, but you also like the perk of me traveling. You also like the perk of me going out and having these experiences that you would like to have, that you haven't had before. Hypergamy is something that's ingrained in women. What do I mean by that? A woman is not going to settle for anybody that makes less than her if she works. She's going to set up for equal or higher. That's it. So, you know, the guys understand this. If you work at Target, you know that you're not going to get an attorney. You know that. But a girl that works at Target can be dating an attorney. Because that's the way the genders are. I'm not saying right or wrong. See, unlike women, I understand the, the pros and cons of, of being a man we learn the game so going back to this whole topic of should men expect sex when you're having to pay for an experience that a woman's going to be involved in it, it's really all about communication like one of the comments said i know for myself i remember one time years ago i had this girl that I don't know at that time. I was talking to her for about three or four months. We went on a couple dates. Everything was good. And I was telling her about me going to, you know, Miami. She wanted to go. She never been. So I figured out halfway before that trip that I deduced all the signs of saying, hey, okay. Because usually now I know that when women are wanting to do something with you, it's for a reason. It isn't because, so for example, like I just went on a recent date uh, up to Tampa. I went to a concert. I found out the girl, it was her birthday week. And she didn't, and, and I'm, I'm putting two and two together. I'm saying, okay, she didn't have anybody to go with. 
and she wanted to go to this concert so she reached out to me out of the blue and scheduled for that weekend because that was her birthday weekend and she wanted to do something on her birthday i haven't heard from her since i mean i heard from her here and there but she doesn't want to continue anything more it was i was used because she wanted to have the experience now she paid for it so i didn't give a fuck right i was like okay you know like guys guys don't get offended the like guys don't get offended if i get used i remember in college one time this girl saw my buddy like uh, that, that she was dating leave with another girl and she basically used me for that reason she used me to kind of cheat with him or fuck around with me and then tell the whole campus what happened so i remember just going up to her room we have fun and right after we're done she was like you gotta go <laughs> now if it was the rules were reversed you know that a girl would be like what the fuck you kicking me out for like what, what's that all about i'm like okay I got to go. The next day, we had to fly to Pennsylvania for a tournament, basketball tournament and uh, in college. And somebody, one of my teammates goes in the room and was like, hey, uh, Minnow, I heard you uh, did, did, did this. With da, 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 da. I'm like, damn. That was before social media. <laughs> it wasn't even 24 hours and that fucking news got out. And I don't talk to nobody about my business. That's the thing. It's like, I, I didn't know. That girl just went around and told everybody. I had Minnow up in the room that juicy gossip she couldn't hold on to it but my anyway i don't even know how to rail but my, my whole point is that when you, you're traveling and you have expectations i know when i'm paying for something like that scenario i was telling you in miami i knew that that girl was doing that so i went ahead and i was just fucking i was just like i i fucked her so many times like she had to stop me like she was like dude you gotta stop but in my head i knew that it was mostly and it wasn't no rape or anything she was enjoying it we're having a good time but i was like i was basically not there to go walk around and i'm like i'm there to fuck because i know that's what she was using me for and lo and behold the next day she just tells me i want to take it slow and she stopped calling me and she stopped but i find out that she was gone she just did that to get her uh fiance or she was telling me it was ex-fiance but the the the, ch- the child of her of her father uh, the father of a child that she wanted to marry and be in a relationship with get him pissed off because he wasn't doing his part so you know you understand like i understand women have ulterior motives like women just don't come and be like hey i'm just a good girl especially at this age they have intentions you know and the only time they have good intentions is that if they pay their own way if they're not paying their own way then there, there's something there. They're, they're going for the trip, but that doesn't mean that they're going to be committed to you. That doesn't mean that they're going to go ahead and continue the party. And for the girls to say, yeah, you know, if a guy didn't do that, he would need you. And I'm like, maybe so. Like, meaning that he, uh, let me just, I'm just rambling here because I have all these thoughts in my head about this. But what I'm saying is that oh, the, the girl comment in, in what I read earlier about how a man is not going to bring you out and, and press you for sex if he had money or if he had success like he wouldn't ask you for that i mean that may be so that may be so because i i know there's men out there that they have done that but they're they're super duper loaded you know i think men that are sexually active and can still have sex and they want a woman around yeah like unless you're like my 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 friends my friend's wife my friend's girlfriend and nothing's gonna happen but even then i won't be going on a trip with you because guess what you'll be going with your partner you won't be going with me women don't go by themselves to places and especially if they have a man that's the reason they got a man for in a lot of cases believe it or not they got a man to feel safe they got a man so that they could do things together with they don't want to do things with me so when you're being with me there's also this inclination or understanding that you may be interested because again we're leaving the fucking country we're leaving the the certain comfort levels that we both have to have an experience together so how can you you know how can you think that there is no expectation of 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 intimacy because as i always say guys want to have sex and figure it out later so you think he's going to be spending all this money on you and all this time where he could find somebody else that's gonna fuck him like sex is very important for guys and i know women you want to diminish it women want to diminish and i'll leave with this women want to diminish sex with men like that's all you guys think about that's all you guys think about well 
there's things you ladies think about that we don't give two fucks about. And we, but we still have to make it important for you. We have to still, we can't just say, why is that important to you? Why, why, why is doing these things important to you? You know, like we don't, we don't, why is it giving you flowers? Why is it romancing you? Why is it that I have to do all, send you fucking cards and surprise you and keep fucking pumping this romantic novel all the fucking time? It's, I don't need it, but you do, right? So that, it's like we need fulfillment from our partners. And, and I'm not saying that women don't love sex. It's that there's some women that maybe don't crave it as much as a guy or don't prioritize intimacy because they're able to get it. Women are able to get sex whenever they want it. So, of course, you're, you're not, whereas a guy, I just can't go, I just went to Gasparilla. You think I hooked up with anybody? No. You think I made out with anybody? No. But I bet you if I was a girl, I mean, I don't know if I was as big as I was, right? I mean, big fucking Amazon. But I could probably get a guy to have fun with if I wanted to. You know, like, it, it's that easy for women to get it. So I understand them not wanting to have the relationship be about that. I get that. But for men, we don't have access to sex like that unless we're lying to a bunch of girls or unless we're paying a bunch of people. It doesn't work that way. So you have to understand whenever, and I always tell this to my daughter, whenever you're out there and you're having a man pay for something and do something for you, like depending on how big the favor is, don't be stupid to think that he wouldn't take a sexual advance or there's something that he desires from you in a sexual way. That's why I tell my daughter and, you know, I tell her now as she's getting older, I tell her, look, whenever a guy pays for something, the reason you, when you want to go on dates, you want to pay for everything until you guys are in a relationship. Because the reason I say that is because you want to make sure that if things don't go as you want, let's say you get to know the person after a couple that you don't like him, he's not expecting that sex. He shouldn't. Because all of a sudden, he's going to be like, what are you going to give me? When are you going to hook up? You know, like, no, no, no. We, we, we're here hanging out. You paid your way. I paid my way, baby. I appreciate you and I know that, but I, I, I'm not getting there yet. You know, I'm not I'm not there yet. So thank you. Thank you for asking. Because versus if the guy's paying for your meals, the guy's paying for your fun experiences, and then he's horny at the end of the night, he wants to pull his dick out in the car. What are you going to do? I mean, you're going to be like, well, I don't want to do it. No. I mean, that's what we expect. Because guess what? We can get somebody else. Women are lined up for two things. For marriage and they're lined up for experiences. Right now, if I was to go advertise, hey, I'm going to a trip down to wherever. I'm going down to whatever favorite place it is. Iceland or or Ireland or Germany or Netherlands. Or if I was to say I'm going and I'm looking for somebody to go with, you don't think that inbox is going to be fucking going nuts with me? Like, I'm going to have three or four girls automatically. Hey, what's up? I would love to go with you on that trip. Yeah, because that's how women are. Like, it's all, especially at this stage, they just want to be wine and dine and have no problem with it. But to ignore the reality of I'm giving you something, you have to give something back to the guy in return. Not a fucking thank you. Because again, you're doubling my bill. So what are you going to show as a level of gratitude that doesn't cost a thing that he will appreciate? You know what it is. <laughs> and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to disparage or be, it, it's talking honestly about those intentions. When a man meets a woman, they want to get together and engage and see where it goes. Sometimes it doesn't go far and sometimes it goes to the end of time. But when you're saying, if you as a woman are taking an offer from a guy and you're saying, well, now nah, he's just taking me and he shouldn't expect anything. That's the kind of woman that is very selfish. That's the kind of woman that's very entitled. That's the kind of woman that is a very vain, very materialistic. And what happens with a woman like that is that a lot of guys try to break the code. Because there's men out there that love breaking the code of, of a woman like that. Like taking them out to dates, taking them out on trips, taking them out. 
and then eventually break them to and then once they break them that's they won the challenge guys get off on that too so you're gonna have to in a way you're gonna have to be realistic and, and understand that most men whenever they're traveling or paying for most of the expenses they're trying to have a little treat Unless you know who their favorite athlete is or something that they like to do. Meaning that if if I wanted to meet Tom Brady or Michael Jordan or whoever that you knew that I could meet them, then that's like a trade-off. It's like, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with having the sexual experience. But like I said, women are, in my culture and where I grew up, man, they're definitely entitled, man. They're definitely looking for that guy to take care of them and then keep their money and all this stuff and I don't know, man. Look, I, I, I keep it simple. I, I'm like, look, just these are my needs and wants. Tell me what your needs and wants are, and we'll we'll figure it out. That that's a good starting point. What do you need from me? This is what I need from you, and we'll see how compatible we are. And we'll go from there. I mean, it's not really complicated, but because people don't communicate those things because of fear of judgment, because of of uh, rejection, mostly rejection that it's it's a it's a very deep problem to have that unfortunately